Welcome back to what Jack has made. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use anchor tags to bookmark different elements on a web page. I have four sections on this web page, one, two, three, and four, with the fourth one containing an image. The rest of them is just basic text. On the side I have a list with one, two, three, four, an image. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that when you click free, it will take you to the third section. So to do this, we're going to open up our code. Ignore that, that's just the CSS. And then when we go into the index.html, you can see we have our list. So if I put in anchor href equals, and this time for our location, we're going to use a hashtag, and then we're going to say one, and then close it off. Uh, I'll put this on the other side. So now when we refresh the page, you can now see one has some styling added to it, implying that it's a link. But when we click it, nothing happens. It changes the URL, but there is no location one. So to change this, we need to add an ID. So we put ID equals one in the H1 tag. Now when we refresh the page and click one, you can see that there was a little change where it drops as low as it can to the one ID element. And this will be more apparent when we add in more IDs to the other H1 tags. And there we go. The list now links to different IDs. So if I click 2, it takes us to 2. Click 3, it takes us to 3. And when I click 4, it takes us to 4. So yeah, that can be used to link to any element on the web page, and just to prove that, I'm going to add it to the image now. So I'll put a href, I'll put an ID of image, close it off, and then when we come down to the image, we'll put an ID of image. And now if we refresh the page and then click image, it takes us straight to the image. And you'll notice that it'll take us as low as it can before hitting the image. So if we click 4, it'll take us to the top of 4, but no lower, no higher. So we can go between the different elements of the web page using anchor tags. So yeah, that's a really simple but really effective way of linking to specific parts of a page when you're including a lot of content.